Hey there, Leslie here. I'm coming to you today from Paralegal Inner Circle class and the Cover Letter Secrets class. So check that out at paralegalcoffeetalk.com. This is video number four in a series of what makes a high-performing paralegal. And this one is about should you frequently change your workplace and or your, your role? You know, what, what you're doing at the law firm. Well, we're gonna tackle the workplace primarily in this video. And I started out, I'll tell you my little story, started out as a legal receptionist, legal secretary. Um, an attorney during the interview had promised me a review at, at six months. And then at the six month mark, it was crickets. Nobody, he was not saying anything. Um, I finally went to talk with him and he acted like he never had, we never had that conversation about a review. And he also said that I would get a raise if they were pleased with my um, efforts. So I knew I had done well because I had already worked three or four trials by that six month mark. And I was working under the wings of an attorney that was a, a new partner with them, but very seasoned attorney. So I had learned a lot, but that didn't pan out. So I started looking around and I put my resume and cover letter out there just directly to legal workplaces. And I was able to land a job with a personal injury attorney. Um, I had a lot to learn. I had a tremendous amount to learn. So my, my advice to you is not to see yourself in a box in one place. It doesn't always work out that way. You're not going to get usually a three to $5,000 raise every year that will bump you up from a low salary that usually beginners start at. And that will make you feel dejected as if you're gonna, it's going to take years before you can make a livable salary. That's not so. It may take three years. It may take four years, but it's not going to take 10. And it may take far less than that, depending on how brave you are in an interview and what you ask for during the interview. Never let anybody put you in a box and, and ask you, they may ask you, what are you making now? But you can not answer that question. And you can say, well, what I need is this salary. So I'm not sure like where you stand what you think about that but that's what I need to pay bills and mortgages and that's what I've said in interviews and I usually get what I ask for so and I, that was in the beginning too I just started being courageous and brave and asking for that so do that watch all the videos in this series they will be so helpful to you